Are you ready to experience beauty and tragedy in one of Japan's most iconic cities? From the somber yet inspiring Atomic Bomb Museum to the stunning views from the top of Mount Inasa, this vlog will take you on a journey like no other. So come along for the ride as we discover the hidden gem and savour the flavours of Nagasaki. Now we are at the Fountain of Peace at Nagasaki Peace Park. It symbolizes water because many died begging for water when the atomic bomb dropped. So the shape of the fountain is actually a pair of wings, which is a symbol of peace. It's also the same as the Nagasaki Harbor, which is also shaped like a pair of wings. We are just done visiting the Nagasaki Peace Park. There's actually a big statue at the end of the park. And the hands and the leg, the way it is being posed, as well as the facial expression, symbolizes something which I thought was pretty interesting. And now we're actually at the Hypno Center Park. There is a simple and black monolith behind us. So this monolith actually symbolizes the mark of the epicenter of the atomic bomb. This is the leftover pillar of the cathedral of Urakami. And we were quite surprised that you can still see the statue at the top of the pillar. Yeah, so even though the atomic bomb detonated right at the top of the cathedral, the pillar still remains. So next, we will be going to the atomic museum. Yep, we see will you there. see you there. We are just done visiting the Nagasaki Atomic Bomb Museum mm. and it's a pretty informative museum. They actually documented the various history of atomic bomb, the World War II, as well as they have quite a wide array of the remains of the atomic bombing. You can see the effects of mm. the mm. atomic bomb on daily items like clock, glass bottles and all that. It really captures the effects of the atomic bomb and you can see how damaging it is. It's a must visit if you are here. It costs about 200 yen per person. It is really well worth the price. We also been to the memorial. The memorial is quite different from what we saw in Hiroshima. It actually built up by 12 pillars. The last pillar it houses a registry of all the victims of the atomic bombing in Nagasaki. And Hiroshima, one, they, they used towels to depict the aftermath of the atomic bomb. We are now at Oraiken Mekan. It's a Japanese-Chinese restaurant. I have ordered the Sara Udon. Let me try. Mm. Even though it's a stir-fried noodle, but it's very flavorful. I think while they cook it, they, they put some seafood broth. The broth is similar to the champon broth that we tasted yesterday. Not bad. I ordered the champon. It's actually quite a lot of noodles. There's quite a lot of vegetables and a mixture of pork clams, squid, quite a lot of ingredients. Let me taste the broth. Mm. Yeah, the seafood broth is quite flavorful. On to the taste test of the noodles. The noodle has a very smooth and chewy texture. It actually goes very well with the soup. So we just finished the sarah udon and also the champon. We are now very full. But you don't want to miss this Koraiken Bini Donut. Let me taste it. It's actually a caramelized donut. Hmm, I'm right. 
Instead of adding the sugar outside, they do a caramelized donut. Very good. It's the first time I try this kind of donut. You can try if you have space after the big bowl of noodle. We are just done with lunch and I got to say it serves pretty delicious food. Especially the dessert that we ordered, even though there's 12 of them, we still managed to finish all of them. It has a pretty unique taste. I don't think I've ever tasted such a donut before. Yeah. Inside the donut is quite moist. Outside is caramelized sugar with some sesame. Now we'll be heading back to the tram station. We have only used up one ride. We need to use up 600 yen <laughs> worth of ride. Behind us is the gate to Sofukuji Temple. It is one of the oldest buildings here at Nagasaki. And you can see here it's a more of a Chinese style architecture rather than the usual Japanese kind of temple or shrine. I feel that the temple is like the Chinese temple, but they actually adopt the Japanese culture that we are not allowed to step inside the temple. Inside the temple, there's this Mazu Hall. When I read it, it really sounds like there's only one in Japan and that's why it's so precious. A mazu is for safe trip and also good harvest for fishing. We actually made a detour to Xinxi Chinatown just now. They mostly sold food but because we just had a heavy lunch so we weren't really interested. So after we left Xinxi Chinatown, we set the tram again to this temple. It's a Confucius temple. We paid about 660 yen each to enter the temple. Some interesting facts about this temple. They have 72 wise men statues and uh, there were two pistachio trees in front of the temple. They are Confucius tree in Japanese language. I think that's the reason why they actually planted it. And there's a stack of stone that actually given by China to this temple. The stones are here. <laughs> so now we will be heading to our next attraction of the day, which is the Ora Cathedral. Hopefully we can finish by the time it's sunset because we are going up the mountains again and hopefully it doesn't rain this time. <laughs> See you! Behind us is the Ora Cathedral. It costs about 1,000 yen to get inside. The special things about this cathedral is it's the oldest standing church in Japan. And it was built in 18th century, but it got burned down after that. And they reconstruct this church on 1952. And it took five years to construct this church. It's one of the UNESCO heritage sites. I don't think we are heading in. We are going to rush to our next location. Mm. At the second shop after the cathedral, we actually found this castella cake. And I saw the advertisement everywhere in the train and the tram. We decided to buy it. We got the chocolate flavor castella cake. It costs us 120 yen. Ooh, it's quite unique because the outside, they're actually covered with skin. Mm. This one is less sweet, tastes like a regular chocolate cake.
We are now enjoying our Nagasagi egg pudding while looking at the Mount Inasa view. We are now back from visiting Mount Inasa and I got to say the night view is really pretty good. At the front of the view is houses, like those two-storey houses. So the lights is like very small, dotted lights. And out at the open is all those high-rise buildings. So you get a lot of those clustered lights. So you can see all of that in a single view, which is actually quite fantastic. It's actually the top three night view mm. in the world. It is the top three because it looks like the Milky Way. Mm. It's quite a long walk from the tram station and do note that part of the walk involves walking underground. It might look like the road for cars but at the side there's a pedestrian walkway. The other tip is that there's another tram ride so if you want to sit both then you can purchase a one way up using the roadway and then another way down using the tram. So yeah, definitely come here if you are at Nagasaki. Don't miss it for the Megane Bridge. Thank you for watching. Do hit the like and subscribe button for more travel related videos.